Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fact Finder. We are going to dive into a topic that has been on the minds of many Europeans lately, and that is the future of their standard of living in 2024. Many Europeans are concerned about the standard of living they will have in 2024. We are going to talk about a recent survey across the European Union which has dropped a bombshell. Brace yourselves. A whopping 73% of Europeans are expecting a nosedive in their standard of living in the coming year. Yeah, you heard that right, 73%. Now that's not just a ripple, it's a wave of concern that's making its way across the continent. We've got to talk about why this is happening, what's causing this collective worry, and if there's any light at the end of the tunnel. All right, folks, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of these survey results. Brace yourselves because these numbers are telling a story that's got everyone's attention. 73% of respondents from the survey think that their standard of living will decrease in the next year. As over a third of Europeans, 37%, have difficulties paying bills most of the time. Overall, they anticipate a hit to their standard of living in 2024. Now that's not just a mere majority, it's a resounding concern echoing across the continent. Now why is this happening? Let's break it down. Europe is facing an ongoing energy crisis with oil and gas markets feeling the heat from current conflicts and a weak global economy. Recently, natural gas prices saw a 15% surge in October 2023, spiking by 40% at one point to reach an eight-month high. The Middle East conflict is the main player in this price drama. Given the backdrop of a sluggish economy, it's crucial to ponder where gas markets are headed in Europe. If a full-blown war erupts, experts predict a global economic downturn, wiping off a staggering $1 trillion and pushing oil prices to $150. This, in turn, would send gas prices even higher. Inflation is rearing its head, making everything a bit pricier. You feel it when you're shelling out at least 500 bucks more just to keep the lights on in your home. That's no pocket change, right? And don't even get me started on the grocery bills. Getting that top-notch grub is becoming a real financial balancing act. It's like a perfect storm hitting households hard. Europe's been through the ringer, and these external factors are throwing a major wrench into the economic gears. All right, let's put a face to these statistics and bring it home. Meet Sarah, a resident from the UK, just like many of us. She's not a statistic, she's a voice echoing the sentiments of a growing number of Europeans. Sarah's grappling with the real consequences of the economic challenges we've been discussing. As she puts it, the inflation has hit her hard. Prices for basic living in the city have skyrocketed, setting her back at least 500 bucks. It's not just about the numbers. It's about what these numbers mean for someone trying to put good food on the table. Now here's the kicker. Sarah's concerns aren't isolated. We've got friends across Europe, and guess what? They're singing the same tune. It's not just a UK thing, it's a continent-wide concern. The rising cost of living is becoming a shared experience, and it's ringing alarm bells. Imagine sitting around with your friends in different corners of Europe, and the conversation keeps coming back to the same worries, the uncertainty about the future, the struggle to maintain those high standards we all want when it comes to food and living. We're not just dealing with statistics here, we're dealing with real people, real stories. It's not just Sarah or her friends. It's a collective feeling that's spreading across the continent. So, as we talk about the economic uncertainties, remember it's hitting close to home for individuals like Sarah and echoing in the conversations of people just like you and me. Now let's shift our focus to the silver lining in this economic storm, the unexpected resilience of the European Union. You might be surprised, just as many were, at how the EU is weathering the challenges that had us all a bit on edge. First things first, wages are on the upswing. Yes, you heard it right. Despite the economic roller coaster, people are seeing growth in their paychecks. It's a glimmer of hope amidst the uncertainty. Nominal wages rose by 4.5% in the euro area, and more than 10% in other parts of Europe in the first half of this year. Higher wages help alleviate cost of living pressures and support economic expansion. The numbers show that, and it's not just a small blip, it's a noteworthy trend. Wage growth has differed across countries. Across much of Europe's advanced economies, wages have further to rise before they catch up with prices, meaning that pressure for pay rises is likely to persist. 
In Central, Eastern, and Southeastern Europe, wage growth has been more rapid and kept up with prices. And hold on to your hats, because inflation, that pesky villain in the financial drama, is actually taking a breather. It's decreasing. Now that's like music to the ears of anyone who's been feeling the pinch at the grocery store or the gas pump. The powers that be are working their magic to ease that burden. So, here's the deal. While we were all bracing for the worst, Europe is proving to be more resilient than many anticipated. It's not all doom and gloom. The economy might not be throwing confetti, but it's holding its ground, and that's a cause for some cautious optimism. Sure, we've got hurdles to overcome, but the fact that wages are on the rise and inflation is taking a dip suggests that the European Union is navigating through these tough times. Now let's zero in on Germany, the economic powerhouse of Europe, currently navigating through some significant hurdles. First off, high energy prices are hitting hard, households are feeling the strain, and industries are tightening their belts. It's not just an inconvenience, it's a substantial weight on the nation's economy. Add to that the reduction in subsidies, the German government is scaling back, impacting the financial support people rely on. Less support means more pressure on wallets, then there's the demand dip. Even Germany's top-notch products are facing a decline in demand, particularly from crucial markets like China. It's a double blow-less product movement and a hit to industries driving Germany's economic core. To top it off, budget constraints are in play. A recent court ruling has Germany tightening its spending belt, limiting its economic maneuverability. In a nutshell, high energy costs, reduced subsidies, declining product demand, and budget constraints are creating a challenging mix for Germany. It's a real economic test for one of Europe's heavyweights. So, what's the game plan for Germany to tackle these challenges head-on? Reforms and strategic solutions are on the table. Firstly, addressing the declining workforce is critical. Germany needs a robust workforce to drive its economic engine. It's not just about numbers, it's about ensuring the right skills and talents are in play to keep the economy humming. Global competition is another front that needs attention. Germany can't afford to rest on its laurels. Embracing innovation, staying ahead in technology, and fostering a competitive edge are keys to weathering global economic storms. But here's the ace up the sleeve strategic investments. Pouring resources into key industries like energy can kickstart economic growth. It's not just about spending, it's about smart investments that yield long-term benefits bolstering Germany's economic resilience. In essence, Germany is facing challenges, but solutions are on the horizon. Reforms, addressing workforce issues, staying competitive globally, and making strategic investments will be crucial in steering Germany toward economic stability and growth. It's a tough road, but with the right moves, Germany can navigate through these economic headwinds. In a nutshell, the concern about the European standard of living in 2024 is real. 73% are anticipating a hit. From the UK to Germany, individuals like Sarah are feeling the economic strain due to inflation, high energy prices, and broader challenges. Now over to you. Share your experiences in the comments below. Are you feeling the pinch? Do you see resilience or solutions in your community? As we discussed Germany's economic hurdles, there are real challenges, but there are chess moves on the board, reforms addressing workforce issues and strategic investments. In wrapping up, it's clear this economic puzzle isn't simple. Collective awareness is the first step. Let's engage in open dialogue, sharing perspectives to spark the changes needed for economic resilience. It's a tough road, but with collective action, Europe can navigate these challenges. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and let's navigate